Hey everybody, this is going to be the first review in my new series regarding the fact that I don't want to be sued. So, this is the new Chad Demand series. And we're going to get right into this. This is the Zero Tolerance 850. Check it out. Really nice blade. Got it in today. Tried to review it over on the live stream. And I saw lawsuits in my future. So here we go. Let's check it out real quick. You got one, two, three, just over three and a half inches. There, three and three quarters inches. Nice blade. 20 CV steel. Check that out. Kind of a sheep's footy. What do you Sheep's footy job point thing working there. Got a little thumb jobber here. Man, in the live stream, they say that didn't, a couple people didn't like it. I love this thing right here. Check that out. Jet Fuel EDC was over there in the live stream, and he said he didn't care for that. Sorry about the brightness. I didn't have time to set up my lights, get out my good camera. I was demanded. I might be too late for this anyways. So there you go. Check it out. Love the thumb studs on this thing. Just a different type of knife or a different feel on these thumb studs, but they really work. It snaps out there nicely. Okay, let's check this out. Haven't done the camera thing. One, two, three, four, five. Just... Just at five inches of this really cool blue carbon fiber. That is pretty. Really like the way that looks. Got the really cool pivot design here. Almost like a revolver. Like a six shot revolver kind of thing. What do you think? That's what I'm getting from. Is that what y'all get from it? Maybe that's what they meant. I don't know. It's got a really cool, what do you call that? An inset like frame lock, liner lock? Was that inset frame lock? I didn't get a chance to look this up. Once again, I'm scared to death. All my Christmas money is gone. I don't want to have to pay for an attorney. There you go. Really cool titanium. Just like a different kind of shape backspacer there. It's kind of unusual the things they did on this thing. Got that revolver thing sticking out the rear there. Now, it doesn't have a lanyard. So... That's the one negative thing I found out about this knife. I don't really care for. But overall, that's like a one point out of 100 points that I love on this knife. And I usually, usually the lanyard will kind of end it for me, but not on this thing. This thing is great. Cannot wait to get this in pocket and start using it, really. 20 CV steel. It's so light. Let me see if I can keep the camera stabilized while I reach over here. Once again, this is an impromptu Chad Demands review talk to Chad for the poor lighting and let's see what we got here 4.3 ounces that's nothing for almost a four inch blade five five inches there really light very sturdy feeling just turned it off in my fear I was trying to get to grams here 122 grams a really comfortable knife in hand even with a big hand like mine big chunky fingers snaps open nicely running on bearings there falls with a shake or two it's not too bad all right the left arm getting tired going to the right arm which is cramping up nicely so there you go check it out really cool knife really nice check out the live stream if you want to see a little bit more of it and you want to see me being threatened and stuff all right so seriously this is a great knife and i want to check this out for a buddy of mine just a quick review don't have a lot to compare it to i might do an extensive review on it a little bit later but i just want to get this out tonight just to say thank you all right so that's it if it, if i had to pick a knife if i had to spend your money I would not feel bad about spending your money on this knife, especially what they're going for now, around 220, 230 bucks, if you can find them. They're, I think I don't know if they're being phased out, but they're they're on a really big discount compared to what they've been selling for earlier this year. So just get a chance, go have a look see, and this is for you, and I'll talk to y'all later.